Oh, London Wild Man here. So we're finally on the day of Midhurst 2019, and uh, we're pretty pumped. So this would be my third year, and it's funny because I've had three different bikes for each uh, Midhurst trail ride. This year, obviously, I'm on the Beta. So uh, we're at KOA, and um, we got here last night and had a nice campfire, had some hamburgers for supper. And this morning, it's about 7.30. We're leaving in about a half an hour, and we're just getting our stuff ready. So kind of going through our gear to make sure our water's filled up. That kind of stuff we had breakfast we had um, some bagels with cream cheese and then this really strange bacon that Carl bought Canadian bacon okay Canadian <laughs> bacon uh, Carl's getting some water in his bike and then John O is strapping on a really dirty thing to the front dirty bag he's <laughs> keep it PG <laughs> so anyways we're all kind of pumped right now just kind of getting things ready we've got tons of time so doing pretty good so next shot will be of us arriving at RJ's and then kind of I'll do a little walk around to show you some of the bikes and then we'll be riding guys so we're here so this is the starting of the Midhurst trail ride and uh, so we're just gonna go get teched in a little bit of a lineup which is kind of lean that's okay I'll try to be patient. <laughs> right, so the group is together, missing a couple people, but uh, so far so good. Yeah, so what were you saying, Matt, about your bare ass? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nate. <laughs> Look over and say, did somebody bring their hairless cat? <laughs> John's got to change his shifter a little bit there, a little yeah. miscalculation on uh, shifter position. Done and done. And then here we are. Lots, I see lots of adventure bikes here, so they're going to do like the dual sport adventure route. So we got checked in back there. Uh, Donna did like uh, 87 decibels, so it's well within reason. Looking forward to it. Lots of KTMs here. Oh, man, people just love orange, eh? So, riders' meeting is probably in about 20 minutes, and then we'll get on with our ride. Okay, so we've started the ride. So uh, we've got about seven guys in our group, seven or eight guys. And uh, so this year we're going counterclockwise through the trails, whereas last year we went clockwise. So uh, we'll be hitting the Horseshoe Valley stuff in the morning instead of in the afternoon, which is about my favorite spot. So pumped, beautiful day. It's been a pretty good weekend so far with the camping and uh, had a good sleep last night. and. Had some good stretches, so I'm feeling pretty good. And uh, loving it, so I'll turn it back on when it gets interesting. You guys all watch NASCAR, right? Or I'm sure you have. Well, they have a, they have a segment called Crank It Up! You know, like where they turn the mic on and all the... Oh, let me, oh. Ah. All right, all right. That's funny. Okay, <laughs> I just wiped out. Anyway, it's like I was saying, crank it up! Okay, actually, you know what? Forget that crank it up segment. This trail is too technical. I'm going too slow. You get to see me wipe out. Oh, I'm tired now. Okay, wow! Wow! 
Ahmed's in the lead here. Something's going real good. Beauty morning. Keeping the pace down. Feeling good. Just had a small breather. Some water. Wrists are good. Behind me is Scott, Mike, Jono. I did see Matt and uh, Carl and Dan back there. No idea. No idea where Kevin is. I wonder if he kind of took off a bit, which is fine. We'll go catch him. Whoa. Watching the stumps, trying to keep my toes in so I don't break them off on a tree stump. Okay, so, um, I don't think I told anybody, but I switched out my rear sprocket to a 50. So I'm running 1350 right now. A lot of people are saying, oh, oh, it's really, really tall or really short or whatever it is, but it's amazing. I've been in this, I've been in second gear in this uh, single track the whole time, even on slow spots where we've been, like this right here second gear. Obviously I am using some clutch control but I love it. The reason I went from a 48 to 50 is because I found in some of the slow stuff 48 was just lugging a little bit. I found this bike was just lugging a, just a little bit. I know it's designed to lug but I think the RPMs are a little too low so 50 is perfect. I run at about 6,000 RPM going 80 down the road but I don't go on the road too often, so I don't think that's a problem. Oh, these loops, man, holy. Holy, okay, so I say we're about, we're getting two hours into the ride. Um, it's, right now it's Kevin and I and we're in the Horseshoe Valley track. This is the biggest one. This is probably going to take us uh, another little bit to complete. But uh, oh, I've definitely slowed down in the last half an hour. I'm not really winded. I just, the dexterity is kind of slowly going away. But uh, this section of trail is pretty complex too. There's a lot of roots and rocks and stumps and all that kind of stuff you got to keep an eye out so it is pretty draining uh, but uh, yeah so far so good we're doing really good having lots of fun looking forward to uh, actually I'm looking forward to this track being done so I can have one of my all of ours my, oh, my second year has been working great I've been pounding second all day a little bit of clutch so yeah, I'll probably catch up with you uh, at lunch or after lunch. Oh, wee. Well, we made it to lunch. Look at this. It's been a pretty sweet ride so far. Most people sitting over in Poison Ivy, I think. Look at all these riders. Holy. Alright, I'm going to stop this so I can get my lunch. Oh, man. Right. Go ahead. Alright, so we're leaving lunch. It's a great lunch kind of re-energized a little bit and now we're about to hit uh, some big single track Whoa. I must say I'm really happy with the trail conditions 
I mean, all this single track is dry, perfectly dry. I haven't really came across one mud pit yet this whole trip. Maybe like a couple really small water spots on like the double track stuff. But, uh, I mean, for the amount of rain apparently we had yesterday, you would never know. And then it's just because this soil, it just drains so well, I believe. So, hasn't been greasy, it's been beautiful. Alright guys, this is the last part of single track and I think we're going to call it. Uh, there's a couple more sections but uh, I don't know, you know we've done over 120 kilometers and uh, I think we're good. So this is going to be about it. This is uh, Mike in front on his 300RR. This might be my next bike right there. Not that specific but 300RR. Anyways, it was a pretty sweet ride. The tra trail conditions were amazing. Wild man bailed twice, but little ones. So, had a good ride. Next part of the video, we'll be going into the campground and into the cooler. Done for another year. Holy. I'm going to put this bike up against a tree. I'm not going to look at it for like an hour. Holy. Oh, oh, the rolling resistance of my bike is terrible. I can't even roll to the tree. Headache. Bromance man. Woo. Okay. There we go.